Hey lovely people, how are you? We're excited because we found out why Georgina Brackenbury's date of birth has got mixed up in some of the biographies. Why am I so obsessed with Georgina Brackenbury, suffragette, artist, the last person to own this house before the Housing Association? It's because she played such a big part in the suffragette campaign. She was a fabulous painter and she did this kind thing of leaving her house to people who hadn't got the same start in life and I'm always going to be grateful for that. I feel as though I want to say thank you to her and also um, celebrate her. The, you know, sort of, what is it? Um, I'm not sure people know who she is and I think it's important that being somebody who's become so interested in history since living here that I should say thank you by finding out more about her. We found out the other day that her real birthday is the 4th of June, but the next record was her baptism, this document. So it's on page 87, baptism solemnised in the parish of Woolwich in the county of Kent in the year 1865. And the first entry on the page, on this page, is Georgina Agnes Brackenbury. So it says, 1865, July the 1st, underlined, and then June the 4th, 1865, must have been her birthday. Charles Booth Brackenbury and Hilda Eliza Brackenbury are her parents. Abode Woolwich, quality trade or profession, captain in the Royal Artillery, that's her father, and W. F. Hobson, chaplain to the forces, was officiating at the ceremony. So there we are. July the 1st was her baptism, June the 4th her birthday, and now we know. The next thing is... I have found something that I researched years ago and couldn't find, and now I've found it, which is Georgina Brackenbury's will. And you can recognise the signature. That, that was signed, the postcard was signed by her as well. Um, and it says... I, Georgina Agnes Brackenbury of 2 Camden Hill Square, Kensington, in the County of London, Spinster, hereby revoke all wills, codicils and other testimony deposit, deposition, it's difficult to say, 
dispositions heretofore made by me and declare this to be my will, last will and testament. It goes on to say, I give, devise and bequeath all my estate whatsoever and wheresoever unto my sister Mary Venetia Caroline Brackenbury. Absolutely. But in the event of my sister, the said Mary Venetia Caroline Brackenbury, predeceasing me, then I give, devise and bequeath all my estate whatsoever and wheresoever unto my niece, Barbara Winifred Swinnerton Dyer, absolutely knowing that she would carry out my wishes verbally expressed to her. That's a lovely thing to say, isn't it? Absolutely knowing that she's going to do it. In witness whereof, I, the said Georgina Agnes Brackenbury, have to this my last will and testament set my hand. I think it says 17th day of November. How amazing. 1941, 1941. So the same month, not the same day, but the same month I'm reading this. And it's signed by the solicitors, as you'd expect. And what happens is, when you ask for the will at the offices in High Hoven, you get also um, the probate, the principal probate registry. Um, and it tells you the day that she died. And that was the 27th of January, 1949. So that's her, the probate. Thank you, Georgina. Thank you.